morning. It's August 23rd. <clears throat> and a lovely morning after the uh, rain we had yesterday. And more rain coming, but for now it's sunny. So getting in my walk in the nice cool air. It was only six degrees when I got up this morning. Supposed to go to 21 today, I think. So a little bit warm, warmer later, but quite cool right now. But that's good for walking. And the sun shining, which it wasn't yesterday for sure, if you saw my walk. So. so my plan today is to go up and walk east on 13th, and then back west on Victoria. Might be a bit shorter walk. I do have time constraints. And in fact, those are closing in so that um, I may not do any more walking for a few days. After 170 consecutive days, I may actually miss a few here, but I'll be back, so don't worry about that. Sometimes other things have to take up the time that I would spend walking. Anyway, during today's, might be one tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. So the first trick is to get up to 13, obviously. Not exactly a trick, you just walk along here <laughs> and eventually you get there. Not much of a trick. I was very wet after yesterday's walk in the rain. The umbrella helped, but certainly didn't prevent getting wet. My feet were soaked, for one thing. The gimbal got quite a bit of water on it, but it didn't seem to cause any problems. Occasionally had to wipe the lens. It's funny because, uh, as I mentioned, there's a fellow named Walking, well his name is Gabe, Walking Commuter on YouTube that kind of inspired all this. Walks in Manhattan and he did a walk in the rain yesterday, mostly silent because they of course had Henri, the hurricane. That, well it wasn't by the time it hit, hit there, but a tropical storm that was in that area. Um, oh, we'll go up Albert. and cross wherever we can. So he was walking in the rain, and then I was walking in the rain. It was actually raining harder here yesterday than it was when he was walking in Manhattan. That is a nice, cool, refreshing breeze, so maybe I won't work up much of a sweat this morning. Hopefully I warm up a little. Hello, birds. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like they were trying to run away from me. Like I didn't really want to fly. All right, here's Albert Street. 13th is uh, three blocks up. We'll go east on 13th and we'll go up to Victoria because normally when I've walked on Victoria, I've walked going east. So by coming around and going west with the sun behind us, we'll get better lighting. And it's just a little different. Then I'll probably come back to 13th and walk down that way a couple of blocks. Before I head home. Like I said, I suspect this won't be as a full hour this morning. I don't know for sure until I've done it. So 
there's our gas station. Not our personal gas station, but the one we use most often. Oh, I might actually be crossing at this intersection. I won't get the chance to turn on the light, but I will get a crosswalk. I mean, I couldn't turn on the crosswalk light, but it doesn't really matter here. And I could jaywalk here because it's a one way and nobody's coming. Class X Studios over there, as I mentioned, is where my daughter danced for many years and worked this last few months. And there's a coffee shop up here. Sweetie Pies, if they're still open. No, they're closed on Monday and Tuesday. Interesting. The old apartments here. The Braemar. I don't know when it was built, 30s maybe? 20s even? Don't know for sure. Another old building over there. Probably apartments to begin with. I don't know, maybe there were still apartments upstairs. I don't know, I don't think I've ever been in there. And then there's First Presbyterian over there, which is where we were married. Presbyterian. Cat cafes over there. And the Nouveau, I actually have an invitation to come in to the Nouveau Gallery sometime with the camera, but it won't be open today when I go by. We know the owner and know somebody who works there. So. The Terra over there. Formerly the Saskatchewan Wheat Pool. I think I mentioned before when we first moved up here from Texas, there were all these elevators, grain elevators, in the town. I didn't know anything about grain elevators at the age of eight. And uh, they said pool on the side of them. And I thought, it's the weirdest looking swimming pools I've ever seen. How would they work? They'd have to be like 80 feet deep and square. It just didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Number one fire hall here. This is 13, so we will go down. Go down to the right now. William A. White Fire Station, officially. Sometimes the garage doors are open here and you can see inside. Someone was trying to call me there, but I didn't answer. I'll let it go to voicemail. It can wait, whatever it was. Over there is what uh, used to be the YMCA. Unfortunately, they closed this one. This is where I used to go and work out all the time, so that was very annoying. It didn't survive. It was already in trouble, and then I guess the... Did you see the white fence there? It does have a daycare inside it that's still going. 
it has a pool and all sorts of facilities, so I don't know what's happening with it, if somebody will buy it or what. I was quite religiously doing some weight training over there till the pandemic hit and I haven't done it since, so I've lost whatever for body strength I had built, I think, probably, but I'm walking way more. This downtown, of course, is over there. Doctor's office is in here, I think. City Hall over there, the tall one. We'll walk by that when we go back down along Victoria. So far, nobody's checked in unless you count the phone call that I didn't answer. <laughs> If you're on Facebook or YouTube, say hi. I'm talking today. I wasn't really yesterday much. Just letting the rain speak for itself. Didn't say much. Pop, 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 pop. Warren Street. Salvation Army over there. Over their headquarters. In that building, various offices in there. We used to have board meetings for Golden Apple Theater up there. Back when I was on the board of that sadly defunct professional theater company. Couldn't make a go of it. Another old apartment building here. And over there is the back of Sass Power Building, which we'll walk in front of, and the back of the Hotel Saskatchewan, and various things we'll see from the front when we reverse course here. And parking lots. Always scenic parking lots. When the light hits them just right. <laughs> an interesting window here. Aldane House here used to be the offices of uh, Moore Shumiatcher, who was a friend of the family, my wife's family. We knew him, well, I didn't know him for very long, really, but I knew his wife, Jackie, only passed away recently for a very long time. She was a good family friend. We often went to birthday dinners and things with her. I think I took her with me to see one of Alice's musicals at um, Luther, Luther College High School. They've been working on Sass Power like crazy over there. Not sure what they're doing. There's a health department building of some sort. Well, so apparently it's for lease, parts of it anyway. I mean, it's just an office building, but I think it had a health, and maybe still does, had some sort of health offices in there. Yeah, Regina Capel Health Region. I was right. I like this old apartment building here. It's very neat and, and it's for rent if you need an apartment. Its grounds are always well kept. It just has a nice 
spoke to it. Another old one on the other side of the street. Not quite as nice looking. A couple of more blocks will take us to Broad and then we'll go up a block and come back along Victoria. Then once I get home, I'll be heading out to the Moscana Country Club to write. I'd really like to get Tangled Stars ready for submission before I have another commitment. So we'll see if I can do that. I mean, I will get it done shortly, but it'd be nice to get it done in the next couple of days, actually. Don't know if I can make that happen or not. I like the front of this one, too. It's quite nice. Broad. I don't have to wait for the corner to cross. It's a one way, so it's pretty easy to jaywalk. <laughs> Soul Mart over there, Korean grocery store. And Salam over there is an Ethiopian restaurant. I've eaten there once. It's quite good, but not a place I've gone very often. Okay, now we will go up a block here on busy Broad Street. Another nightclub and lounge. I've never been in there. Don't think I'm really their uh, go to clientele. One on the corner is Sask Oil, I think. And then there's hotels past the intersection on the right and left. One on the right used to be called the Regina Inn. I don't know what they call it now. One on the left is the Ramada. Oh! I think he ran over a plastic bag. It sounded like it backfired. It's a nice steakhouse. I've been in here many times. Been here a long time. The owner knows me well enough to say hi. <laughs> and this is uh, pizza, Trifon Pizza. I don't order from there very often. Yes, it's a double, is it a double tree now? Is that what it is? By Hilton. I don't know. Anyway, there's the Double Tree. Yeah, Double Tree by Hilton, it says up there. I'm not wrong. And then over there is the Ramada. Now we head this way, and we get all this nice light from behind us lighting things up. There's one reason I wanted to walk in this direction down Victoria today. That's the Avord Tower, the white one. My, uh, well, there's been a few things in there. When I was writing the Saskatchewan Mining Association book, their offices were in there. So I'd actually do a lot of writing in the coffee shop down at the bottom. Well, this is a restaurant over here, Rooftop Bistro. I'd write in the coffee shop, but the offices of the Saskatchewan Mining Association was up there. I did two history books for them. One, the history of the Saskatchewan Mining Association, and one, a history of their mine safety competition. So I really enjoyed working on those. There's downtown in the morning sun. This is the Motherwell building here, which is now a condos. It was originally a provincial office building, I think. Government office building. I don't know what's behind these weird looking frosted windows. I've been in one of the suites. It was quite nice. The now called Victoria Place, another well building. 
that was built in 1954. Then you have Crave here, which is in what was once the Assiniboia Club, which was like the premier private club. My wife's uh, father is a member here. And maybe her grandfather. Nice restaurant now. Also, my optometrist used to be up on the top floor, which was great as a place to get new glasses and look out the window. You could see so far and see how well your glasses were working. And this is Golf Steakhouse here. They have this uh, natural gas torch out here that's lit sometimes, but not right now. It's over there in the Aver Tower. What's now called Brood Awakening is a coffee shop I've done a lot of writing in. I haven't been in recently because of the pandemic. I could go back now, and I should one of these days. Then you get the federal government building there with the cool tower and cupola, I guess you'd call it, up there. I like that building, kind of an Art Deco 30s building. And yeah, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but... It's that tower building. It was completely covered in plastic. They've taken that off, but it's still got scaffolding. I, they've had a facelift on that building not that long ago, so... Are they working on their curtain wall again? Or windows, or what? I don't know. And there should be a fountain here, but they hopefully temporarily took it out for construction. There you can see Canada on the side of the federal building. This is Scarth Street, so if you look right down there to see the Twin Towers, our Twin Towers, very much smaller than the ones that were in New York. And here's the Hotel Saskatchewan. It's now a Marriott, like so many things are. Part of their signature tradition. It's very nice, and it has this wonderful lobby bar that I used to come for lunch and ride in. But as of now, it's still just doing dinner. They haven't reopened it for lunch. I don't know when that's going to happen. I hope it happens. So, I mean, I could come and ride in it anyway, I guess, but there wouldn't be any service of any sort. So that's hardly any fun. Victoria Park over there. The cenotaph through the trees, First World War and subsequent memorial. And back at the Twin Towers back there. And you've got what used to be the Land Titles Building. It has the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame in it now. Uh, and I'm sure there are other things too, but the administrative center for sports, culture, and recreation. Okay. And the Sports Hall of Fame is in there. But originally, it was the Land Titles Building, which of course was a very important building during homesteading days. And then uh, Knox Metropolitan over there, heavily damaged in the tornado, which basically came right down this street in front of me in 1912. And rebuilt somewhat differently. Been in there many times for concerts mostly. I've performed in there many times and been to watch other things performed in there many times. And then this is uh, this one is First Baptist here. It was also heavily damaged by the tornado. It's the Mace Masons that next brick building down that street there. I don't know what that represents. Just put up some sort of camera. Looks like it. This is the Balfour. I always like this apartment building very much. We looked at a place in here. Um, 
which would have been very nice, but it doesn't have any underground parking. So I could have had condos on that side and apartment buildings on this side. And at the time, they didn't even have this nice fence around the parking. So that didn't seem... There's City Hall. We knew we'd be changing places with my mother-in-law at some point and we didn't want her to have a place that had no underground parking. Courthouse. City Hall again. I worked up on the 15th floor of that, it's 17 stories in all, when I was uh, filling in on with somebody who was on, was that maternity leave, that one? Maternity or adoption leave, I don't remember which. So I was a communications officer for six months. In 1994, I believe. You can see some bits of the original courthouse, Victoria Regina, ER. coffee shop in there too, or restaurant really. Everything's so nicely lit up in the morning, that's why it's nice to walk in this direction. Kato Books that originally published the charge of Excalibur was in here as you can see but they've been gone now for a couple of years they went out of business so all those books came back the rights reverted to me and that's why they are now Shadowpaw Press books ebooks print and audio books I'm gonna go back to 13th and I think I'll cross over here and walk down. Yeah, maybe not. It's going to be well before that light changes, so maybe the next one will be better. And I'll go down 13th just a little bit till I get to uh, Retallic, which will take me straight home. So far, nobody has, nobody has checked in on Facebook or YouTube this morning, so I don't think I'm being watched by anybody live. And if you're there, say hi. <clears throat> Sometimes that happens. I do have 110 subscribers now, last time I looked. So it's been slowly but steadily going up. How many of those people actually bother to watch anything? I don't know. Does anybody watch a full hour walk? Rarely. I'm sure some people do. Mostly when I see the walk time, it's fairly brief. A few minutes, maybe. Probably fast forwarding through it to see what's interesting. I'm interesting though. I'm always interesting. Cathedral Social Hall over there, another place I often write. I might be there this afternoon working. We'll see. Viet Thai, our favorite Viet Nies and Thai restaurant. We get a lot of takeout from there. Then there's this uh, strip mall over there. Uh, I don't have a walk light here, but that just turned green, so I will definitely cross uh, right now. So we're back in the corner with the uh, number one fire hall here. We'll go down 13th a little ways, past the shops along here. How long have I been out? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a shorter one. Probably 
no more than 40 minutes when I get home, maybe a little over 40 minutes. But hey, nobody's watching live anyway, so. See it's high. Circle K, Pizza Depot. Boy, long light this time of day. I don't understand why people wear masks outside. I really don't. I guess he feels like he wants to. He looks like a duck. So this on the left used to be a church, but it's now uh, performance space called the Artesian. Performed in there, and Golden Apple Theater that I mentioned earlier used to do all shows in there. And there's a very nice lounge in the bottom where I've had a book launch as well. I may do that again for the next book launch. A little coffee shop over there, really a hole in the wall. Very little space inside it. Jaden Pfeiffer, one of the creators there, I know him. Probably know the others too if I saw them. I was in a play with him once upon a time at Globe Theater, Twelfth Night. That has been a while. 20 years, <laughs> something like that. Last time I did a play for Globe Theater, so. exactly uh, snapped up by Ruth Smiley when she was artistic director there. I've only done two plays at Globe Theatre here. I did on Golden Pond about 98 maybe. And then I was in uh, Twelfth Night, a few years later. And on Golden Pond, well, Susan Furley hired me for that, and maybe she would have used me more, but that was the last place she directed, so. That's the New Age bookstore over there. And you got the church bookstore over here, which I always think is funny. I performed in that building, too. Not what it is now. It's the Oddfellows Hall, I think, when I performed in it. There's a nice uh, restaurant here, which certainly has painted its walls colorfully. I've never been in there. Well, not recently. And then this is a very popular ice cream place. And that's our new liquor store. Our new neighborhood liquor store, which is kind of nice to have, close to home. This is Retallic, which will take me straight down to the corner nearest my house. So we will turn left now. Won't go any further down 13th. Over here is the Safeway where we do our shopping. There's a Starbucks in there that I have frequented. It's about to carry something across the sidewalk.
Safeway continues. It was expanded a few years ago. There used to be other things back here, but then they expanded back here and the store got much bigger. House for sale if you're looking. Oh, okay. 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 Now you're good. apartment building over there. There's a bit in that one. It was closed for a while because of a fire, but it seems to be back in business, if that's the right word for apartment building. There's fire in the basement, so I'm sure it was just a lot of smoke damage, maybe water damage. They have an interesting roof. It smells so fresh this morning after the rain. It's been, been a very pleasant temperature to walk. And talk to myself since again, nobody has said hi to this morning. So I hope I'm actually streaming. If not, well, the recording will be up indefinitely. You'll be able to come back five years from now and watch this. And who wouldn't? free library there. Mostly still the older houses along here. One or two newer ones. Right, these ones up here, there was a fire took out a couple of houses and at least a couple of these were replacing that. The ones that burned. These two, I think. Replaced two that burned. to see a few campaign posters. We never put up a campaign poster. I don't want there's a reason it's a secret ballot. I don't have to tell anybody who I'm voting for. I've often wanted to put one actually put up a campaign poster but it would be Hamilton, you know, with him with his arm up in the star in the gold. The silhouette against the gold background. I think that would be funny. But perhaps that's just my slightly odd sense of humor. Although I'd totally vote for him if he were running. Not Lin Manuel Miranda, but the actual guy. We read the biography that Hamilton is based on. Quite the genius. Treat anything from that period. Those guys so outshine anybody we've got politically now. Thought so much more deeply about things. Everything now is just sound bites and buying votes and no appreciation for principles like, oh, liberty freedom, those things, which to me are still important, but I may be alone in that, at least, at least I feel outnumbered when I <laughs> read other people's comments and about things. That was, and still is, as far as I'm concerned, Davin School. They call it the Crescent School now, but it says Davin School on it. Named after Nicholas Flood Davin.
important early citizen of the city and started the what's now the Regina Leader Post newspaper. Almost there. In fact, I think I'll stop at the alley up here so I can go uh, see if our garbage has been picked up, because if it is, I like to get it out of sight, the bin, so it doesn't collect dog poop <laughs> from people walking their dogs in the alley. little tiny house tucked away in there. Okay, we'll stop at the alley here. Garbage truck may not even have been here yet, but I'm going to look. So, thanks for walking with me, if anybody's there live. And if you're watching the recording, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I don't know. Might be back tomorrow, I might not. I, I'm getting a really busy week coming up, so... I might give this a, a break for a few days. We'll see. Anyway, I'll be back sooner or later. Bye for now.